So the ROADS program is, uh, stands for Reliable Opportunities to Advance Dad Support, and it's a partnership with the Child Support Services Division of the Ramsey County Attorney's Office and the Workforce Solutions Program, which uh, offers employment services, um, job coaching, and things like that to help people become employed. We kind of just focus on career planning and like next steps, goal setting, you know, whatever we can work on to help advance them and overcome certain barriers so they can be better suitable fathers for their children. One of the really unique aspects of the work that we're doing as collaborative departments is to ensure that there's really personalized um, support for the ROADS participants. From the workforce side, that can look in the form of an employment guidance counselor that's dedicated to that father and supports them all the way along the path of everything from figuring out what types of careers they might be interested in, to preparing their resume, helping with interview support, helping with networking, as well as just giving them that day-to-day -day support that they need in order to complete a thorough job search. We also know that it's not just financial, and uh, we hear that a lot from the families that we serve is that men want to be more than just a paycheck to their kids. So we also are looking at barriers in terms of being able to spend time with the child. So working on co-parenting with the other parent, working on having a court-ordered parenting time schedule, and working on sort of self-esteem issues. So a father who's able to contribute both financially and emotionally is going to feel better about their relationship with their child and more likely to be engaged rather than feeling like they just kind of you know, want to disappear because they don't feel like they're really meeting their obligations as a father. That's where we come in. So long as somebody's participating in the program, we will help them with the child support side. They don't have to worry about paying. They don't have to worry about their license being held and other things. You get a lot of uh, the custodial parents that aren't happy with the program because they don't know about the program and, and that's something that we're, we're trying to fix. There's a fear for families that are reliant on public assistance and so moms that don't really understand how we're trying to help dad look at it as if we're working against them and not really, you know, to help. But with the full family approach to get the child off of public assistance and the dad able to have that relationship and care for a child, I think that's like the big picture goal for us. If we have a case where the father hasn't paid in a year or two, um, we will basically explain to them the benefits. So if we can get this person on the right path, if we can get him a good paying job, we will go ahead once he's settled, um, once he's done with the program and he gets a good paying job, we'll go back to court. If the non-custodial parent gets back on their feet, then the, the mother is able to get that support from the non-custodial parent, right? That's the goal is to, to be able to have them, you know, the custodial parent to receive that support and to be able to take care of their children and for them to be less stressed about trying to figure out how you know they're going to make ends meet or how they're going to put food on the table. I would tell them all the benefits that you know the non-custodial parent is going to be able to do and then I would also tell them how that would better help their child. Um, you know, one, him being able to build a relationship with his children, to him being able to take care of his children, and you know, just giving some of that relief from the mother and allowing him to be able to assist and help her where he wasn't able to help her at some point in time. We don't work with the mothers directly but we let them know what we try to achieve. So we, we notify the mothers, explain what the program is, and it involves basically um, filing motions to stop somebody's court order child support. So we have to notify the mother. She has to be part of it. When we go to court and try and explain this to a magistrate, you know, this is somebody who's willing to participate in the program and we are willing to give him a chance so we can stop the child support charging for now till he gets through with the program. The thing is, is why would you want to order that set so high that he's never going to be able to pay if he's not able to get back on his feet, right? So we try to make and try to help them understand what the end game is for this. We have a lot of moms that are typically on public assistance that may know or have a relationship with dad, but dad's still obligated to pay child support, probably not in the household. And we have flyers and tell them like, hey, you know, if he wants to really get going and start a career, have them give us a call and we could tell them a little bit more about this program. So actually it, it benefits both parties in, you know, in, the, in this situation, not just for the father or just for the mothers, for both parties and then ultimately the child. 